How's it going, everyone? Midnight Silver Run, and I'm back again with another error. I was going through my uh, half dollars, checking for no FGs and uh, DDOs. And if you can see in the uh, microscope and the camera here, you'll see a 1973 D double die obverse. We'll quickly uh, kind of go over and look at this one. Just wanted to show you real quick here. We'll start off with this end. You can see the first double serif right here. That dark spot. And when you're looking for the DDOs in these half dollars, which there seems to be a lot of them, <clears throat> you're going to be looking for doubling mostly in, in God We Trust. Every once in a while, there might be a little bit of doubling up here in some of these letters. But it's not too often. You can see. You see the double serif there. See the doubling there with the double serif right there. Is the bottom one, the top one. You got doubling in your eye. It's hard to tell. Yeah, there might be a little bit of a double serif there in the bottom of the eye, but I don't, I, I'm not seeing a double serif on that one at all. And then the L, L looks fairly normal. Might be a bit of doubling right here. And maybe a double serif here kind of looks like it. But mainly what we're looking for is doubling in in God we trust. You can see the split in the T here. You can see the split in the R there. And right here. The U is kind of hard to pop up. But this is one U right here on the top. And then the other U is right here. And then you can see it right here. Now the S I think is probably the most doubled out of everything. And let's see if we can get a good picture of that. If you can get it in the right light, you can see both serifs pretty well. And I can actually get it in a little, let me see if I can get it a little bit better here. Well here, we can look at the bottom one. You can clearly see the two serifs, the two S's here and then here's the top one comes up here and then the bottom one is right here and then you'll see I believe a little doubling in the last T as well You can see the S pretty well. The S has got some pretty good doubling on it. Granted, my microscope is, again, we all know my microscope is not the best. I believe this would be 
D D O F S O one one oh one. I I I don't remember the actual listing number off the top of my head. Let's see if we can keep spinning. I know I could see the doubling on the T. And maybe maybe it wasn't on this T, maybe it was on the other T, and I just think it was on this T. Not too sure. I'm starting to think it was not on this T. It was on the first T, I believe. No. No, it's right there. There it is. You can slightly see the two serifs right here. There's one. And then the other one is right here. Just on this side of the S right here. So you have one. You have two. So there you guys have it. Another double die obverse and a half dollar. This is a 73D. I'm not too sure, but I want to say the numbers might be doubled as well. Some things like this right here and that right there. That kind of looks like it's got two serifs, but I'm not sure. I'm not positive. That really looks like it's kind of doubled right here as well. So keep your eyes open when you're hunting your halves, guys. They're out there. They're waiting to be found. All it takes is a trip to the bank. It's that simple. Walk in, say, hey, I need to order some halves, or I need to order some quarters, or can I have a box of pennies, or nickels, or I don't do dimes, because dimes, I think, are real lame. <laughs> But you can get them, guys. They're, they're out there. They are out there. I've only been doing this since July. And since I've been doing it since July, I found this right here. And this isn't the only double die I've found. You guys have seen most of the double dies I've found. This is, this is what it's all about. Not every day you find a coin that can be close to $1,700 in a box of change. So keep your, keep your eyes open. Check the coins. Even if you're bored, then put them down and walk away. Come back later. All right, everybody. Have a good evening or morning, depending on where you're at.